listen, my, my thing is this, innit? I wasn't sure. I'll be honest with you, I wasn't sure. I thought the work's going to be, it's going to keep him going for a year, yeah. but then the real work's going to kick in. Yeah. Then we'll know where his mind's at. But here you are, man, three years later. Yeah. You get what I think, you get what anybody thought. It's only about what you thought. Yeah, exactly. Congratulations, my brother. Appreciate How it. does it feel? It feels great. Um, I mean, I'm kind of in turmoil because part of me is thinking I was around 10 9, but then the other part of me is like. Looking at the clock! Yeah, but then the other part of me, me is obviously like, I know what I've been through. Um, even going out to the track today in the warm up, I was in so much pain. And I was limping out, I don't know if you saw, I limped out to the track and I had, I had my belt secure in my pelvis, I just took that off. Um, so I was like, right, for me, it's just about getting through that line. The times are neither here nor there. The main things I finished the race. I haven't sprinted past 60 meters in training yet. Um, so yeah, I've reached my second to last target. I've got one more. Uh, if you remember back when I remember we spoke at the, uh, the event, the award show, and I was in a wheelchair. At that time, I had a few more milestones I had to hit, like getting up and walking. Then it was walking without a limp. Then it was being able to jog. Then it was being able to jog, jog with a limp. Then it was able to do slow tempo. So I've ticked off everything. I've got one more big thing to tick off, which is going to be the hardest on paper, but for me it's not. The hardest one was getting here today. Um, so next year, 2020 Olympics, as long as my body is physically fine, I'll come out and I'll smash it. You've done all this, James, about no backing, mate. No financial help, you know, on your own, yeah. so to speak. Yeah, and yeah. that's, for me, one of the, the most impressive parts of it. It's all very well when everybody's supporting you, but it's when everyone goes away and there's nobody supporting you. You don't get as many likes on your pictures. No, real talk though, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? Like, it's those times there when you're thinking, about, you know, is this a mountain too high for me to climb? It wasn't. Would you like some funding? Do you think you can get to that point again? Listen, I'm, have you give that ghost? Have you give up that ghost already? I'm like Django Unchained now. I don't, I don't business. You, whether I get funding or not, nothing's gonna stop what I'm gonna do. You know, um, coming into this race, I'll say it exclusively of you, like to anyone. But there's a couple of people within a certain organisation that tried to stop me from running today. So um, hearing that, it's just disheartening as well. I don't know how you couldn't support this movement. It's one thing not supporting somebody, but it's another thing actively going out there to try and stop somebody from coming back. What was the reason? It's embarrassment, I think. So, you know, when, when people aren't on the ship and then you throw it and, and they get egg in their face, they don't like it. So um, I'm free, man. No one can't tell me nothing. I've got the close people that really mean, mean a lot and they really backed me from the beginning. So it's all in my hands now. All right, it's a serious question and you talked about 2020. Is that, is that realistic? Because when you run 10 9, I know you're in pain. I could see it at the end of the race. Mm -hmm. And you know what you've got to do in order to get in the kind of shape you've got to get in. Mm -hmm. well, you've been there, you know what it's like. Mm -hmm. In this stadium too. Um, <coughs> it's a goal, but how realistic is the goal? It's realistic for me, man. I think, again, people are going to doubt and everything I've said so far has been pretty unrealistic to most people. Um, but I mean, how many times do I need to prove myself, man? Not even before the crash changing events, telling people I was going to beat everybody, just, you've seen the career man, eBay selling myself saying I'll be number one in the UK if I get funding, I've always said it, and I'm not, these ain't pipe dreams, this isn't something that I'm just throwing out to get attention, these are my true thoughts coming out in my, in my words, so um, most people don't put their true thoughts out because it's pressure, but I thrive off the pressure, I thrive off people doubting me, so if a certain organisation stop doubting me, that's the best thing they could do for themselves, because you keep doubting me, I'm going to come back even worse, so... Yeah. Can't keep a good man down, James. Respect, my brother. Thank you.